Hello everybody. My name is Kazuo Keishi Kimura. Belong to the Japan Yoga Therapy Society. I'm very honored to be here on the occasion of the 19th Congress of the Asian College of Psychosomatic Medicine. Our symposium, name of the symposium, is on the, about the yoga therapy. And I'm the first speaker of the this symposium. The title of my, title of my speech, is, speech what is, is what is your speech is speech what is yoga what therapy. Is yoga so I generally, so I generally explain, explain what is the yoga, yoga therapy. And this is a scenery, is a scenery of the Himalaya, Indian Himalaya. Himalaya. You, can you can see the snow-covered snow mountains. mountains. And, uh, and this uh, is a... This is a the, the, the border, the border area, area of the India and the China. China. And you can and see you can the see name of the holy place, Badrinath. And the, in, from the ancient time, the ancient time yogi, crossed yogi crossed this glacier, the beach, the, beach, the Tibetan heights, and, and went to the Tirtapuri, is the name of the holy place. Then, then reach, reach the holy mountain, the holy mountain. name is the Kairas mountain. mountain. And, uh, and uh, there is uh, pilgrimage, the places of the holy mountain. We cross the boat, uh, the, the pass of the uh, name of the Dorma La, La means the pass. And the height is uh, 55, uh, 5700 in the meter above sea level. So their life is quite tough. So once my guru told us that while walking around, while climbing or descending, he was afraid of falling down and dying. He was afraid he may break, my, break his leg. So I was with him about 10 years in Himalaya. And uh, once he told us that uh, those who come here should meet him privately, individually, and let him know what it is that uh, we want to learn or desire to have. So this is uh, something like an intake interview of the, the guru and the newcomers or the same as a medical doctor and the newcomer of the, the patient. So from the ancient time, the yogi, the guru, accept a new disciple. And uh, at the beginning of the, our meeting, he collected the information why the, the reason why uh, we come to the, the glorious place. So I told him that uh, I got uh, the ultimate uh, consciousness while uh, practicing yoga. So he accepted me and uh, I stayed with him but from his age, 90 years old and 100 years old. And he passed away, away when he was 100 years old. So this is a traditional uh, yoga. Uh, and uh, from the ancient time, traditional yoga had uh, uh, human structure uh, theory and the function theory. Uh, this is uh, one of the structure and the function stayed with him but from his age, 90 years old and uh, 100 years old. And he passed away, away when he was 100 years old. So this is a traditional uh, yoga. Uh, and uh, from the ancient time, traditional yoga had uh, uh, human structure uh, theory and the function theory. And uh, this is uh, one of the structure and the function theory from the uh, Taittiriya Upanishad. This, uh, up this is uh, one of the oldest Upanishad in the Indian culture. And there are five layers surrounding the, our, the life itself. 
So, most outer world is Andamaya Kosha, food shells, we can call physical body. Then, Pranamaya Kosha, it's uh, uh, breath shells, vital air shells. And Manamaya Kosha and Vijnanamaya Kosha is uh, something like a mind shells. And Anandamaya Kosha, it's a storehouse of the old memory. And from other sculpture, Kata Upanishad and Bhagavad Gita, they express something uh, different from that uh, theory. We call human carriage theory. These 10 horses drove this uh, carriage, and the driver's name is the Buddhi. And the uh, principle of the, the life is that we call Atman. And in between buddhi and driver and life principle, there is the amkara and the chitta. Chitta is a storehouse of the old memory. So if the driver is smart enough, we can run this carriage more than 100 years. But if the buddhi is not smart, then we'll break this carriage within the 10 or 20 years. So uh, from the ancient time, the yoga culture has like these uh, human beings uh, existence uh, theory of the structure theory and the function theory. And from the 2019s, uh, February, WHO, the Geneva, Geneva uh, called us to join the conference of the working group meeting about benchmark for training in yoga. So about 20 the people selected from all over the, in the world. And I represent East Asia, uh, China, Korea, Mongolia, and the East uh, Russia and Japan. And I joined this meeting and uh, we uh, belong to the, this uh, tech, uh, traditional, complementary, integrative uh, uh, medical uh, field. And already Ayurveda and the naturopathy and the uh, noid Thai, osteopathy, Chinese medicine, Twina, and the Yunani medicine, and the eighth, uh, we belong to this TCI sections. And the, the yoga becomes a therapy. So we need a diagnosis theory and the treatment theory. And we call yoga assessment theory and the yoga instruction theories. And uh, when we assess the patient, we objectively, objective criteria, we use STI, you know the name of the uh, clinical psychological test, and POMS 2 sec second version and SOC and some other uh, phys uh, psycho psychological test. And uh, beside this, we use a subjective criteria. So we made uh, uh, this uh, uh, semi-structured interview manual. Uh, we use uh, the old sculpture of the uh, yoga. Uh, probably you know Yoga Sutra and the first chapter of 30 section there is a mention about the disease and the languor, doubt and carelessness, laziness, excessive indulgence, delusion, inability to attain higher level, instability. These nine causes that this disturbance of the mind and they are the obstacles. So this is uh, the cause of the trouble of the mind. Then <clears throat> other Sutra, uh, second chapter uh, five, and there is a, the mention about the, uh, misrecognition. Ignorance, it, misrecognition is to see the ephemeral, uh, eph eph ephemeral as eternal, the impure as pure, suffering as pleasure, and that which is not self to be the third. From, so from the ancient time, yoga is the behavior recognition uh, therapies because the guru 
used to uh, check the disciple whether uh, the newcomers as uh, ephemeral, as eternal, and the impure as a pure, the suffering and the pleasure, and which is not self to be the self. So we use this kind of the misrecognition theory as a therapy uh, assessment. So from the uh, Ayurveda side, there is an ancient uh, internal medical doctor, Charak. His name is Charaka, and his disciple corrected the Charaka's teaching and the treatment method. So we call Charaka Sanhita, Sanhita means a collection. And there is a seven volume of the English uh, translation, and there mentioned the, the, his di disciple, the Charaka mentioned the three type of the internal medical treatment, spiritual therapy, a therapy, and the rational therapy, and psychological therapy. And we belong to the spiritual therapy and the psychological therapy. Then Charaka mentioned Rajas and Tamas are the two psychic dosha predisposition. And there's a three type of the Bata, Pitta, Kapar are the physical dosha predisposition. So he mentioned uh, mind-body relationship associated mutually, such as pas passion and fever. So psychic and somatic disease arises with this association mutually. So this is uh, the cause of the, the disease when the physical, a psychological, or both of affect the psyche, mobility arises, disease arises. So <clears throat> we sometimes go to the abroad and train these medical people in Havana, Cuba, and also the <clears throat> medical staff member of the addiction hospital in Thailand. So we are doing like this volunteer work. So <clears throat> after my speech, there are four researchers mentioned about uh, their research work. So please <clears throat> listen carefully and please understand what we are doing in Japan and abroad. So as a yoga therapy. Thank you for your attention. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Kimura. Uh, for your uh, excellent uh, explanation and introduction of yoga therapy. Uh, so, we would like to uh, uh, go to the next speaker. Next speaker is uh, Yukiko Ken, uh, Ken, uh, Kezuka. Uh, she will speak about the, eff the effectiveness of yoga therapy. Uh, practice in a self-help group for drug addiction. Uh, Ms. Uh, Kezuka, please. Today, I'd like to talk about the effectiveness of yoga therapy practice in a self-help group for drug addiction. In recent years, addiction has become not only a global problem, but also a familiar one. Substance dependence includes alcohol and drugs, and in associated with difficulties is life, such as attachment disorders, domestic violence, developmental disorders, mental illness, and sexual orientation. The quality of life of uh, addicts is generally uh, lower uh, than average. Addicts uh, reintegrate into society using pharmacotherapy and psycho, uh, psych, uh, psychosocial approach. The psychosocial approach includes a variety of therapies and is said to require a multifaceted approach uh, that is 
tailored to the addict uh, condition. The aim of this study was to determine the effect of yoga therapy on the body and mind for drug addicts. It is said that psychotherapy using yoga may have the uh, potential to transcend the uh, limitations of traditional uh, psychotherapy. Yoga is um, practiced in addiction hospital and facility in various countries, such as Japan, India, the US, and Thailand. Further study are uh, needed to uh, properly assess the uh, efficacy and long-term effectiveness of yoga and injunctive therapy for addiction. Now, I'd like to explain the methods used. Mm, yoga therapy was practiced by 30 people in a self-help group for drug addicts. Each participant uh, practiced yoga therapy one time. It was the first time for all participants to do yoga therapy. Participants rate uh, their subjective uh, physical and mental changes. Uh, measure uh, one to six on the face scale uh, blood pressure and pulse rate were also measured before and after the intervention. The face scale was also used in the yoga therapy assessment. The statistical method used was the uh, paired t-test. I will explain the method in detail next. To begin, please see the table on the right. Uh, participants uh, completed the uh, questionnaire before yoga therapy practice. The questionnaire uh, included uh, nickname, age, date of uh, practice blood pressure, pulse, and three self-administered questions. The self-administered questions were, one, have you ever had any serious injury or illness? Two, what are you uh, recent problems? And three, uh, what are you requests for today's yoga therapy practice? Um, Below the uh, practitioner filled out uh, a face scale. The face scale is a scale that uses six levels of uh, facial uh, expressions, uh, from uh, smiling to crying. To uh, subjectively, it can be the uh, degree of pain a person is feeling. Smiling, major, uh, smiling means uh, there is no pain. Crying indicated uh, extreme pain. Uh, this study uh, examines pain, stiffness, uh, legacy, sleepiness, anxiety, irritability, and energy levels. For pain, uh, we also asked about the location of the pain. For stiffness, we also asked about the location of the stiffness. After the uh, participants uh, compared the uh, questionnaire, they were give, given a yoga therapy program to practice. Uh, based on uh, the yoga therapy assessment using the face scale, the yoga therapist created individual yoga therapy practice chart for each participant. The chart contained asanas with not on frequency, pictures, breathing techniques, breathing notes, and proverbs for basic meditation. First, 
to the yoga therapist taught them how to do the asanas. And then the uh, participants uh, practiced them on their own while looking at the chart, this chart. The host uh, practice a questionnaire includes the uh, practitioner's uh, blood pressure and pulse rate and uh, to uh, describe the uh, practitioner's uh, physical condition, mood, and impression after the uh, practice. The fifth scale was the same scale used before the uh, ex uh, exercise, uh, before the uh, practice. Here are uh, the uh, results. This table showed the results of Applying the um, pair uh, of the T test to the first scale, a phase scale rating. Uh, the mean values uh, for back pain, legacy, sleepiness, and energy level all had P values less than 0 0.001 and were considered statistically significant. It is Interesting to uh, note that the energy level uh, energy level decreased. I think uh, they have calmed down the T value for the mean of uh, anxiety was less than 0 0.05 and was considered significantly uh, statistically significant. Uh, these results suggest uh, that the uh, uh, practices reduce back pain, legacy, sleepiness, and anxiety, even though it was the first time for the uh, practitioner to uh, practice yoga therapy. This table shows the results of using the period T test on blood pressure and pulse rate. The P value for plus rate was less than 0 0.05, and the result was considered statistically significant. Uh, their results suggest that the uh, practitioners uh, uh, practice religious uh, pulse rate, even though it was the first time for the uh, participants to practice yoga therapy. The study found that uh, even though who practiced yoga therapy for the first time, uh, subjectively felt physical uh, positive, uh, positive uh, body and mind benefit, physical and mental benefit. Uh, further, uh, benefit may be expected with uh, continued practice. However, we do not yet know uh, if uh, the effect is, um, the effect are um, sustainable or if it is using a uh, psychosocial approach. We would like to continue uh, further research to see if you can be useful as a way to support social rehabilitation. Oh, thank you for your attention. Uh, this is the first time uh, in the presentation of the effective your therapy practice in a self-help group for uh, drug addiction. Uh, you mentioned uh, about the last slide, uh, and, uh, the uh, effect are, uh, are sustainable, uh, so it is very important. It, uh, uh, can you uh, talk uh, in this uh, uh, presentation, can you, uh, this is very hard uh, to talk uh, with, uh, with you. So, if 
there is some question, please uh, send a message uh, by chat. Is it okay? So, uh, would like to uh, proceed uh, next speaker. Uh, next speaker is uh, Michio, uh, Michio Sa uh, Nosaka. Uh, the title is a single session of the integrated yoga program as a stress management education for nursing students using an online tool. Effect of self-practice on the daily versus non-daily uh, practitioners. Uh, Ms. Nosaka, please. My name is Michio Nosaka from Hiroshima International University in Japan. I'd like to thank the Scientific Committee, ACPN, President, Professor Chiharu Kubo, Convention Chair, Professor Sobenikov, and President of Japan Yoga Therapy Society, Dr. Kenshi uh, please wait a, a, for giving a, a me moment. an opportunity uh, to make a presentation. The computer uh, does not uh, work uh, smoothly. Giving me an opportunity to make a presentation in this simple Zoom. I'd like to thank all of you. I'll talk about a single session of the integrated yoga program. I'd like to thank all of you. I'll talk about a single session of the integrated yoga program as a stress management education for nursing students using an online tool. Would you like to check the uh, sound? We can't uh, hear. Please check the sound.
Asian, in addition, Indian philosophy for daily reading, reading of sacred books, who which they shall come. Indian philosophy applicable to daily reading, karma yoga, and five cases of existence, citing the phrase, try to touch the inner corner of oneself in the experience that is the basic fabric of this universe, including the self. The training was provided with reference to the yoga therapy program, focusing on, on shoulder, neck, and back stiffness. The participants are instructed to concentrate on the body sense, breathing, etc., and to be aware and make suitable movement with their own body and mind. Results and discussions. As you can see, the blue line is long consecutive practice group. The red line is daily practice group. The gray line is non daily practice group. Two way ANOVA and two key are used to analyze the data. Before the single session, all scores of non consecutive daily practice group the blue one, and some scores of daily practice group, the red one, was higher than non daily practice group, the gray one. P is less than 0.05. And there were no significant differences in all scores between non consecutive daily practice group, the blue one, and daily practice group, the red one. This result was similar to previous studies that found that those with more severe symptoms were more likely to continue the practice. Grover et al., 1989, etc. Comparing of before and after the single session showed that the displeasure and anger and the total score uh, decreased significantly in all groups. P is less than 0.05. The depression and anxiety and the initial score in daily practice group and non consecutive daily practitioner group P is less than 0.05. In addition, comparing of pre one session and at one month follow up in the very practice group, the red line. Pre intervention every score, such as um, depression, anxiety score, displeasure and anger score, inertia score, and total score significantly decreased at one month follow up. P is less than. 0.01. These results are similar to a previous study conducted face-to-face -face with school faculty members Nozaka and Okamura 2015. Conclusion. One session of an integrated yoga program as stress management education was effective in reducing stress reactions, even with online tools, suggesting that daily practice of 
integrated yoga for nursing students promotes mental health. I want to thank the, the attendees Oshima College of Nursing for the program. That's all for my presentation. Thank you very much for your attention. Uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Nosaka, uh, for your uh, excellent presentation. If you have any uh, question and comment, please send a, a message by chat, okay? So, uh, we would like to uh, proceed to next speaker. Uh, next speaker is, uh, uh, is uh, Miss uh, uh, Sayaka Higuchi. Uh, the title is uh, The Investigation of Changing Effect of Your Therapy on Psychological and Gene Expression State of Healthy Subject. Uh, Miss Higuchi, please. Thank you for this opportunity to present our research. The, our study title is The Investigation of Changing Effect of Yoga Therapy on Psychological and Gene Expression Status of Healthy Subjects. In recent years, even in Japan, where Western medicine has spared in importance of preventive medicine has finally come to recognize. However, in fact, the importance of preventive medicine has already been shown in the Indian philosophical book Ayurveda, meaning the science of life and wisdom since BC. This is a diagram showing the concept of health and illness as presented in Ayurveda, along with other representative medical concepts. In Chinese medicine, there is a classification of pre-illness compared to Western medicine. It can be seen the health and illness process considered in Ayurveda are very finely categorized. Also, the ancient Indian understood human existence as follows. The concept is called Panchakosha. The idea is that humans are made up of five layers of cells in outside of Atman. Atman is like so. It is a special concept in Indian concept. In order from the outside body, respiration, emotion, intellect, and memory experience. Adjacent seals are believed to influence each other. It is believed that memories experienced are neither inherently good or bad. However, in human, the intellect decides it is good or bad. It is believed the causes disturbed emotion, disturbed breathing, and illness. Also, the opposite direction is possible. The disturbance of the five layer seal become big, you will get illness. Yoga is panchakosha balancing technique uh, described. There are three types of yoga intervention, meditation, breathing technique, and asana. Meditation intervene in the heart and abdomen. Breathing control intervene in the respiration layer. Asana intervene in the body layer. In this study, breathing and exercise, that is isometric breathing exercise, intervention were performed with the ex exception of meditation. Then we evaluated the effect of the intervention by examining psychological survey for the detection of the heart layer change and the oral pH gene expression for the detection of body layer change. Seven healthy subjects participated in this study. After informed consent, we collected two pre-intervention samples and also we collected them after the first and three months later. Before the intervention, we ask them to answer a questionnaire like this. Date, name, age, gender, smoking habit, and if you have not serious but unpleasant present symptom, please write it down like that. 
Uh, the yoga therapy program was made by our collaborator, yoga therapist, Yukiko Kezuka. We used two famous psychological tests. The one, the sty can be detected state transit anxiety. The another comes its test for detection that profile of mood state. The following mood state item can be detected. Finally, total stress status is expressed as a TMD score. Additionally, the resulting TMD score provides ethnic Specific, ethnic specific stress deviation T value. The saliva for gene expression analysis were corrected using the kit and the RNA were isolated. After cDNA synthesized, the gene expression was detected by the quantitative real time PCR analysis. From here, explanation of the results. The trait anxiety score was increased five out of seven people, 71 percent in the after three months intervention about this thing. Uh, about this thing we discussed later. On the other hand, state anxiety score tended to decrease. Also, the TMD score in forms tended to decrease. In this result suggested stress in subject become less after intervention. Here is a summary of the change in health status of seven participants. Each of them is escalated by a flower, uh, represented by a flower. The participant of Sean, Iris, and Sunflower had unfortunately big environmental change during the intervention terms. Then we suggest their condition change were not simply by yoga intervention. The participant of Sean, Rose, and Morning Glory, they were in good condition throughout the study period, and they had not any changes. The only three people saw improvement by yoga intervention throughout the study period. This person improved the health, both of mind and body, by yoga therapy. After three months intervention, her poor physical condition, premenstrual syndrome, PMS, and disturbance of sleep induction, dis sleep induction disappeared. Also, psychological tests indicated that reduced state anxiety level and total stress status. Interestingly, the expression level of the NFKB1 was reduced, an inflammatory system related gene after three months yoga therapy. This person also improved the health, both of mind and body, by yoga therapy. After three months, her poor physical condition and expected back pain disappeared. Also, Psychological tests indicated reduced state anxiety level and total stress status. Interestingly, upregulated superoxide disinfectants 1, SOD1, and interleukin 10, an anti inflammatory related gene after three months yoga. No significant difference was observed in the expression of their molecule. In her case, it was suggested. The upregulation of gene involved in biodefense result in her healing. We evaluated that this person improved the health of mind by yoga therapy. Unfortunately, this, his poor physical condition was not any change, and his gene expression level could not detect from his sal saliva. However, the total stress stress uh, total stress status by POMS physical test. Uh, Psychological tests were big improvement. Before intervention, his stress level of fatty intercial and tension anxiety level were very high with higher than 75 points. This value at the level at encourage consider seeing specialists. After three months yoga, this value disappeared his physical test. His psychological test. 
A much longer period of yoga intervention might have improved his physical condition. Here is a summary in this study. There were no adverse events in all of the volunteers. Regardless of the result, they were satisfied with the yoga therapy. Yoga intervention tended to reduce total stress level and state anxiety level. In addition, the change in gene expression was detected in the two people who improved their physical condition. However, it was suggested that different genetic control was used to improve physical condition by each person. Finally, I would like to discuss about the trait anxiety score was increased five out of seven people in the after three months intervention. There are three types of yoga intervention, meditation, breathing technique, and asana. However, in this study, we didn't use meditation techniques. Because the word meditation is generally still unfamiliar in the field of Japan scientific research at medical school, so I excluded meditation when I submitted my research ethics plan. Meditation intervened in the heart and the atma. We thought that the reason for the increase in the trait anxiety score might be the excluding of meditation. As ancient Indian philosophical texts, suggest intervention is three way may be important to panchakosha balance. I would like to special thanks for them. In this study were done the grant for yoga therapy in Japan Yoga Therapy Society. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, thank you, Dr. Higuchi, for your excellent and interesting presentation. Uh, I'm very surprised about the uh, gene expression, uh, nf kappa -B reduced and SOD1 and uh, IL-10 IL uh, 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 increased. Uh, so please continue uh, this study for the evidence-based yoga therapy. Thank you. Uh, and I would like to uh, proceed to the next speaker. Next speaker is uh, Dr. Shin Murakami. Uh, so the title is A Study on the Effectiveness of Your Therapy on Employees' Stress Management. Uh, Dr. Murakami, please. A Study on the Effectiveness of Your Therapy on Employees' Stress Management. This chart shows the percentage of workers who have strong anxiety, suffering, and stress related with working lives. You can easily notice the number of percentage is more than half workers. It means dealing with workers' stress is an urgent social issue. Based on this situation, Japanese government recommended several self-care methods for working stress. Yoga therapy is included on the list. Yoga therapy is defined that techniques to adjust body-mind balance through physical, breathing, and meditation exercise. It was conducted by many people. In Japan, approximately 40 million people is learning, uh, learning yoga. At the same time, in Japan, approximately 8 million people are learning yoga. It means that yoga therapy is familiar to many employees. However, Verification of the effect on employees is limited. This table shows the several previous study for verification of the effect on employees' stress. As for intervention durations, 
I can say they are relatively too burdensome and difficult to implement as a job-based training program. As for intervention details, I understand they are physical exercise centered intervention, no study of the effectiveness of programs that utilize breathing and meditation methods as well as physical exercise has been conducted. As for scale measurement, they are not using BJSQ, the brief job stress questionnaire. BJSQ is very popular among Japanese companies since. The reason is since 2050, Japanese government implemented the stress check system towards the large enterprises. At the same time, Japanese government recommended BJSQs, BJSQ as a tool of measuring work employees stress. I understand need to accumulate research to encourage adoption in the workplace. So this study examines the effect of a comprehensive and pragmatic yoga therapy intervention. I mean, not only physical exercise, but also using breathing and meditation exercise. At the same time, we do not require change clothes and an easy method and short time and once only one time intervention on employee stress management. Subject of this study is as for intervention group, 305 individuals. 160 men and 145 women who participated in yoga therapy training that was held at six companies located in Tokyo, Japan. As for control group, 48 non-participating employees of the same company, same six companies, 22 men and 26 women. This study received approval from Tsukuba University Research Ethics Committee and obtained informed consent from all study subjects. As for yoga intervention, we made firstly 10 minute lecture. It explains mechanism of stress responses and the effectiveness of yoga therapy. After the lecture, we made 60 minute practices. It was consist of 10 minute physical exercise, 10 minute breathing exercise, and 10 minute meditation exercise. After the exercise session, we provided the support tool for self study. We provide yoga therapy short movies on the smartphone application. These pictures are the uh, situation of the training session. Employees gathered at the conference room in their company and several yoga therapists conducted the training session. These pictures are the example of the short movies on the smartphone applications. We made approximately 20 short movies and provided it on smartphone app. So, employees easily review and made a self lesson uh, watching this short, short movies. As for questionnaire survey, we research the brief and job stress questionnaire before and one month later of the intervention. 
as an analysis. The difference is between the values for these two time points that were established according to the survey rating scale were examined in non-parametric fashion. Let me explain result and discussion. Firstly, we check the baseline characteristic utilizing Mount Whitney. We checked that similar for the yoga group and control at baseline. This slide shows that changing on stress responses on intervention group. We observed decreasing of irritation, anxiety, and physical symptoms. We might say intervention group managed their stress responses through yoga. Next table shows the changes on stress responses on control group. We observed no significant changes in the control group. So without intervention, stress management effect was not observed. Based on these results, we could say the results suggest a comprehensive and pragmatic yoga therapy intervention is effective for employed stress management. Finally, we understand several limitations on this research. Firstly, subject interest toward yoga therapy and stress management may above average workers. Bam. Since they applied the seminar after office hours. Secondly, due to the limited number of subjects in the study, we did not conduct an analysis in which the intervention and non-intervention group were put into the same model. Finally, the comparison of the effect of difference in program content, such as switching in the order in which physical breathing and meditation exercises are performed while omitting some of them was not conducted. I would like to continue my study to uh, overcome that limitations. Thank you very much for your attention. Uh, thank you, Dr. Ki uh, Kimura, for your uh... Uh, Dr. Murakami, for your uh, nice and very excellent uh, presentation. Uh, so we have uh, five uh, presenters uh, uh, presentation uh, finished. Uh, uh, thank you uh, very much for the presenters and the person who attended the, this symposium uh, of yoga therapy. There are many uh, evidence accumulating of use, usefulness of uh, yoga therapy. Uh, I would like to uh, the uh, research of the yoga therapy will more uh, promote and uh, yoga therapy will uh, applied in the, in the many field uh, of, in the many field. Uh, so uh, we would like to see your next ACPM uh, Congress. Uh, thank you very much for attending this uh, symposium. Thank you.